middle of September now. It's more and more noticeable the beds are beginning to empty, particularly here in the Braska bed. Still got three or four plants of celeriac. These didn't get off to a very good start, but I decided to leave them, and they am starting to bulk up, so we may get something out. The main crop in here now is the sprouts. As you can see, they're doing quite good. Also, I've got a couple of little cabbages lying there. I'm just going to harvest one of them now for dinner. Well, that's not a bad specimen if I say so myself. The variety is called Killerton. And it's been in quite a long while really, but still nice and firm. There's still another two left in there, not quite as big as this, so weather permitting, I'll stay in there a bit longer. The runner and French beans are starting to go over now. I've started to leave them on because I'm gonna probably collect some seed. Still got some decent runners, long ones. And uh, so these are the bench master, if you look at this one here. I don't know if it'll show there. See how long that one is. Might say, might save that for seed. But uh, I'll probably get one or two more pickings off this. These have done extremely well this year, and I'm very, very happy with the results of that. The celery is another crop that's done really well for me today. I'm watering these every couple of days, and now I just pick one or two bunches as needed. But a bit later on when the signs of the frost come I'll be lifting a lot and we use them then in both stews and soups. Last week I attended a gardening event at the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham, not too far from me. The event's called Glee and it's a gathering of people associated with the gardening and horticultural industry. And the idea of that is to showcase their new products for the forthcoming season. So there's a few other ancillary companies there, such as gardening, leisure, furniture, garden ponds and stuff like that, but it's mainly direct horticulture. Quite a lot of big companies was there. On the seed side, there was Mr. Fothergills, who they own Johnson Seeds and DT Browns. They was doing a collaboration with Franchi Cementi, you may know them as Seeds of Italy. Now, Father Gills are going to be selling, not many, I think it's about 25 select varieties from Franchi. And they're still going to be branded as Franchi on the Father Gills website. So that's an interesting thing to keep a look out and uh, whether that's going to expand a bit farther, who knows. My particular interest was looking at what was happening on the compost front because, as you know, 2020, 2024, sorry, sees the uh, end of compost peat-based products for the amateur gardener. And maybe that'll move on to the retail side a bit later on, the professional side. A lot of compost companies were there showing their products, what they have lined up. Bathgate in particular got a huge stand with their products. One thing in particular I was interested in, it was a long grow bag and that was their Bathgate's Champions Blend, so I'll be interested in trying one of them when I can locate them when they go on sale. Just looking at the sunflowers now, they look as though they're on the way over. In fact, some of the seeds are showing. So I thought I'd give them a, a quick measure ready for the Sunflower Challenge 2021. Hosted for about the fifth year running by Nick's Allotment Diary. Looking at them, I think this one here is probably the best, but I will measure them all.
I decided to chop them down, roll the put them into the greenhouse, dry them out and save them for a bit of fodder for the birds a bit later on in the year. heads off these three because these are the ones that are starting to go over. Still two or three left but nowhere near of this size. Anyway cutting them off gives me a better chance to get the tape measure on. You can see there I'll just pop that on right on the edge of the flower petal as you can see there. Going right the way over, over to the top. And I think we've got a 50 centimetre on that one get out of the way and I'll do the same with this one here. That one there is right on the petal edge. Now this one's collapsed a bit more than the others. Again uh, that's probably about a 49. So that's the measuring done and this is going to be my entry for the 2021 Sunflower Challenge hosted by Nick's Allotment Diary measuring exactly 50 centimetres. I'm really pleased about this as it collapses <laughs> because this is grown from me save seed from last year and I'll probably save a few more of these but most of them will be going to the birds. I'll just quickly show you the outdoor tomatoes. These are my favourites, Crimson Crush. They've done extremely well but as you can probably see there they have been hit by blight. It's important to say these are blight resistant, not completely blight free, but even so, they've put amazing crop on each plant. Very, very happy with them. Decent sized fruits as well. And uh, I'm gonna need to get harvesting very soon before this sets in any more. To show you there, blight is actually caught the fruits on that one but in general most of it is looking good at the moment but even so a great harvest very happy and definitely be growing these again next year a couple of days ago I caught up with a friend of mine who you may be familiar with Dave Taylor he's the guy from Birmingham who resurrects failing allotments I popped over to his allotment site in Shard End and uh, at the moment, Dave's helping his niece who's just taken on the plot and he's doing a lot of work in there to get that into shape. But he still found time to have a little natter and a few funny moments. And I took my camera along and did a bit of filming. But I'll be saving that for a little upload in the near future. This weekend sees a long-awaited Morven Autumn Show and something I'm really looking forward to. And as usual, that'll be hosting the giant vegetable championships by Canna. Um, I know quite a lot of YouTubers will be going there. I'm hopefully there on definitely on the Sunday or maybe there on the Friday. I've got a friend who's popping some joint vegging so I might pop along with him on Thursday at yeah, who knows. But uh, if you're in there and you do spot us wandering around come by and say hello it'll be nice to put some names to faces again. So that's about it for this one. Many thanks for watching once again. Stay safe all and bye for now.